Welcome to Virtual VBS at Covenant Presbyterian Church. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mrs. Mulfeld, and I'm super excited to be getting together for VBS, just like I am every year, but I'm also very sad that you're not all here, right here with me. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful time watching our videos at home, but just know that I am thinking of you, and each day while we do our singing and while we do our crafts and our games, I'm thinking of you and I'm praying for each one of you. And I hope that at the end of this week, we might have a special surprise where I actually get to see you. I sure hope so. All right, now, before we start, I have to tell you a little bit about what we're actually going to do this week. Now, those of you who've come to Vacation Bible School before know that usually we have a theme and we follow that theme through our entire week, but this year, it's going to be a little different. Every night, we're going to do a different theme. So every day when you get ready to do Vacation Bible School, you, you will find that something will be new. We won't do the same thing every night. It'll be a different one every day. For those of you who've been coming to VBS for a while, you'll find that some of these might be familiar. You will see ones that maybe we've done in the past, and hopefully you enjoy doing some of those themes again. So one other important thing, so we'll do a new theme every night, but it's also important that when you get ready for watching the VBS video, that you have your take-home packet with you. Because in your take-home packet, every day there will be something for you to do. Some days we'll do a craft, some days we'll do a different sort of activity, but every day has something in your take-home packet for you. And every day also has a snack for you. So make sure that you ask your moms and dads if it's okay for you to have the snack at that time, but just know that there is a snack in there in your packet for every single day. All right, I think we're ready to start for tonight. So take a look behind me and we'll think about what theme we are doing tonight. Let's see what it looks like. I see that we are standing on a beach. It looks like there's a lot of beautiful water, a lot of water. So I'm thinking maybe this might be the ocean. We have some palm trees and some rocks over here. Look, it looks like we maybe we made ourselves a little hammock. Ah, but look in the distance. I see something that is not as beautiful as all the rest. I see a ship and that ship doesn't look like it's gonna be sailing anywhere anytime soon. So, I think that means that we are actually shipwrecked on this island. I think, even though it's beautiful, I think we might be stuck here. And I think that we might be stuck here until we can get someone to rescue us. So that is our theme for this whole week. We are shipwrecked, but we are going to be rescued by Jesus. All right, before we, we, you know that we always sing a song first, but before we sing our song, let's take just one moment, close your eyes if you need to, and let's think about what you would be hearing or feeling or smelling if you really were on an island. So close your eyes. I'm thinking you probably would hear some water, probably the waves on the beach. You might hear some water. If there was a waterfall or a stream on the island, you might hear that. I bet you'd hear some birds chirping or maybe some insects. Maybe you would feel a breeze on your face. Certainly looks from our picture that it looks pretty sunny, so I bet you would feel warm sun on your face too. So there's a lot of things about our deserted island, but... There's a lot of beautiful things, but we might also feel like we're a little bit scared if we really are truly shipwrecked here and we need to be rescued by Jesus. All right, so let's get ready. It's time for us to sing our first song. This song is called Never, uh, Never Let Go. And we're gonna, I'm not gonna show you all the motions, but a few of the things we're gonna make sure, we're gonna do some waves in this, in this motions. And we're gonna start by drumming. The music begins with the drumming, so we're gonna go like this and like this. And at another part, we're gonna have a lot of times where we go, hey, like that. So get ready to do that. You can watch me, and on your screen, you will see the lyrics to the songs printed on the screen, so you will know. 
Now, I'd like to invite, Jasmine is going to come up, and she's going to help me do the motions, too. So you can watch me, and you can watch Jasmine uh, as well. All right, here we go. Get ready to drum. at the end of our song. You're doing a great job with that. All right, now we've talked about we are on the island, and but we are shipwrecked. And we've talked about how Jesus is rescuing us. And the, when we did shipwrecked here at VBS, we talked about five things that Jesus rescues us from. We said that Jesus rescues us when we are lonely. We said that Jesus rescued us rescues us when we are worried. He rescues us when we struggle. He rescues us when we do wrong. And he rescues us when we are powerless. So we said lonely, worried, when we struggle, when we do wrong, and when we're powerless. So now let's take a look here. We're going to look at our memory verse. I have a poster here that has a part of our memory verse on it. And Every night, we're going to have a new memory verse every single night. You have them all on a sheet on your, in your take-home packet. And if you remember from other years, we've always had a time where you could come to VBS and you could recite your memory verse. And some of you might remember that if you say all five of your verses at the end of the week, then you get a special prize. Well, we're going to do the same thing this, this week. If you learn all your verses every day, when I hopefully see you at the end of this week and you say your verses to me then, you'll get a prize as well. So let's do tonight's verse. The poster that we have only has half of the verse, so we need to do some motions to remember all the rest of it. The verse is, the righteous person 
faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. All right, let's see if we can say that one together. See if you can say that with me at home. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. All right, let's try it this time with some motions maybe, okay? The righteous person, righteous means that somebody who is doing what the Lord commands them to do. The righteous person faces many troubles. So go like this. The righteous person faces many troubles. But the Lord comes to the rescue each time. All right, let's try it one more time with our motions. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Very good. That is great. We'll, we'll practice that, and we can do some other ones some, uh, on other nights as well. Now, I was thinking about our memory verse, and I was thinking about the righteous person facing many troubles, and I was thinking about being on a shipwreck, being shipwrecked on an island, and I can imagine a lot of troubles that we would face. I'm pretty sure that if I were really shipwrecked, I would be worried about being hungry, I would probably worry about getting thirsty, not knowing if I had water to drink. I think I would worry about what would happen if I was walking around and fell down and got hurt. And maybe I wouldn't have any Band-Aids or I wouldn't have any medicine if I got sick. I would worry about getting lonely. I would worry about missing my friends and my family. I would worry about how I'm going to get off this island. I would worry about a lot of things. So I decided that I was going to try to figure out a way for us to get off this island. So I made myself, what do you think? I made myself a little life preserver. And I thought if I put this around me, that maybe I can swim out into the ocean and maybe, I don't know, try to find another island somewhere or maybe a passing boat and they could save me. But I don't know. Then I looked at this life preserver and I realized that I just kind of put it together and it's not really very sturdy and I'm not a very good swimmer and I probably wouldn't have made it. So I decided, and, and the other thing, it only, would only work for me. It wouldn't get all of you off the island too. So I think I'm not going to, so I'm not going to try the life preserver. Then I thought maybe I could use this rope. I have a pretty long rope here. It's a, there's a quite a bit of rope. And I thought maybe I could hold, tie one end of it, and then throw out the other, and maybe a boat that would be passing could come and would catch the rope and maybe pull us to safety. I thought about that, and then I sort of gathered the rope, and I tossed it out, and you know what? Even now, I'll try it. Kind of goes out, but it really doesn't go very far, and I don't think it would actually go far enough for a boat to get it and pull us to safety. So my rope didn't work. My life preserver didn't work. And I started to get pretty discouraged because I realized that there's nothing that we can do on this island to rescue ourselves. And then that reminded me of our sin, the things that we do wrong. And I realized that we can't rescue ourselves from our sin either. We need Jesus to rescue us from the sin that is in our lives. Sin separates us from Jesus, separates us about as much as an ocean separates us. And we can't, and, and we can't do anything to rescue ourselves. Only Jesus can rescue us from our sin. So now I want you to do something. In your take-home packet, you will find a glow stick in your take-home packet. All right, now see if you can get it, but don't, it's always tempting as soon as you get a glow stick, it's always tempting to break it apart and make it glow right away, but don't do that yet, okay? Just keep your glow stick, maybe if you're sitting down, you can keep your glow stick in your lap or keep it right beside you, but don't, don't use it, just let, keep your, keep your glow stick down. Now, what the glow stick is going to represent, sometimes there are people who are, when people really are in trouble, like maybe they're stranded somewhere or if they would be shipwrecked on an island like we are, um, sometimes boats or people might have them with them, they have something called a flare and they can strike it and it will light up and they can hold it up like they need to if they are signaling for help. So that's what we're going to do with our glow sticks now, okay? So now you can get your glow sticks out and you can break it. You can break it and you can make it glow. 
And then I want you to hold it up like a flare, okay? I'm getting mine to glow. I want you to hold it up like this. Hold it up. And what you're doing when you're holding up your flare, you're saying, Jesus, help. I need to be rescued. I need to be rescued from the sin that's in my life. I do stuff that I shouldn't do. I say mean things to my brothers and sisters. Sometimes I'm unkind to my friends. Sometimes I disobey my parents. Sometimes sometimes it's not that I do something wrong, but it's that I know I'm supposed to do something else and I don't do it. Sometimes that's the wrong thing to do too. And we've just talked about how we can't rescue ourselves. We need Jesus to rescue us. So hold up your flare. When you do that, you're saying, Jesus, rescue me. Now, Jesus, when he, it's kind of like our glow sticks. The way that Jesus rescued us is that he, was, he died on the cross. His body was broken, just like we had to break our glow stick to make it actually glow. Jesus' body was broken on the cross. I'm going to move this way because I have a cross right here. And I have this, this black drape is on this cross to remind us that this is the kind of cross. This is Jesus died on a cross like this. And when he died, the people who hung him on this cross and the people who, the people who crucified him on the cross, they thought that they had won. They didn't like Jesus. And they thought that they had gotten rid of Jesus once and for all. So Jesus died on the cross. And after he died, they took his body down and they put it in a tomb. So I want you to, I want you to take your glow stick now and I want you to put it down on your, put it on your lap, put it somewhere where we don't see it. Because Jesus' friends at the time were very sad. They didn't know that what was going to happen next. And they thought that maybe Jesus was now dead and in the tomb. And he, he was in the tomb for three days. But on the third day, something amazing happened. Some of Jesus' friends came, and they found that he was no longer dead. He had risen from the tomb, and he was alive. And the, this, at first, they didn't understand what was going on, but then they rejoiced when they realized he was alive. So here, get out your glow stick again. Hold it up. We are saying, rescue us, Jesus, because we know that your death on the cross and your resurrection can save us from our sins, too. So hold up that glow stick and say, thank you, Jesus, for rescuing us. All right, good job. Now we're going to sing a song that is going to remind us of this, of, our, um, of, of the, the song. The song is called, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Jasmine, you want to come up and sing with me again? What we're going to do this time, I'm going to put down my glow stick. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus is perfect to sing on an island because it has a lot of island sounds. And the motions we're going to do, the very first motions, we're going to pretend we are on a surfboard. All right? So we're going to go like this, and we're going to surf, and we're going to go like this, and we're going to surf. Okay, so get ready. That's one of the first things that we are going to do when we sing Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to rest upon his promise Just 
So great singing again. You guys are really good on those surfboards. I think maybe you could make it off the island like that. All right. Now, next thing we're going to do is that we are going to watch a little video clip. Some of you might remember from other years at, at Vacation Bible School where we have a time where we see a little clip that also demonstrates our Bible points. So for tonight, it's going to be about how Jesus rescues us. That's our, that's our theme. Um, but the clip is going to show you, it's going to show you two boys who are swimming and one boy is struggling in the water and the other boy is going to rescue him. He's going to help him when he's struggling. Um, so we can watch that clip. Now, if you want, every night again in your take-home packet, you will find that we have packed you a snack. So if your moms and dads say it's okay, this might be a good time for you to eat your snack while you're watching this little video clip. Uh, but that's up to your moms and dads. All right, enjoy the clip. Thanks for watching Life Tree Kids. My name is Gunnar Smith. I'm 12 years old, but I'm almost 13. Gunnar loves hanging out with friends and has lots of hobbies. His favorite thing, though, is swimming. I like swimming a lot. I started when I was two. I get to swim with my friends and family. It was a uh, normal day, and it was pretty hot, so we decided to go down to the pool. I saw that a whole bunch of my friends were there. We were playing a game. As they proceeded to play this game, little Hudson, who was on the other side of the pool, walking on the edge of the pool with his hands. As Gunnar and the other kids are playing, I heard someone yelling for help. As Gunnar turns around, he sees Hudson go underwater. And he was in the middle of the pool and he was going under. And he was splashing around. When Gunnar dove over his other friends and went down under too, What was going on in my mind was basically just dive in and save him. I didn't really think. It just came into that mode where you don't really think and you just do. It was panicking for both mothers. We were able to get Hudson up out of the water and he spit up water and we were all relieved and thankful that he was okay. Him and I became friends, and now he's on a swim team. In the Bible, Book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Hudson was struggling, and God used Gunner to rescue him. No matter what you're going through, God is always there. When you struggle, Jesus rescues. All right, now some of you, your most favorite thing about Vacation Bible School is when we go outside for games. So we're going to do a game tonight. We won't do a game every single night, but we'll try most nights. So tonight's game, um, you are going to need a towel for this game. That's all in your, it's not in your take-home packet, but it's explained, the directions are explained there. We thought that this was, since we're on a deserted island and there's a beautiful beach here, we thought a towel would be appropriate for a game. So I have Maggie Wombold and Amy Lofold who are helping me with the game tonight. Now, here's the trick. So first of all, you spread your towel out. Like you can see, Amy and Maggie have their towels already spread out. And what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to turn your towel upside down, but you have to stay standing on it the entire time. Okay, you can't step off onto the ground around your towel. You have to stay standing on the towel the whole time, but you're gonna try to flip it over. All right, so watch, or you can start trying it at home if you want to, but maybe you might wanna watch. Amy and Maggie are gonna demonstrate for you right now, and you can watch them flip their towel over without stopping standing on it. All right, go ahead, girls. This is one helpful way to do it. So you're gonna to want to grab the other end of your towel, and then sort of start to walk back so you're at the edge of your towel, the very edge, but don't step off. Then put your towel 
as far over as you can. It's going to hit your legs, but that's okay. Just so that it would go over. Next, you're going to step onto the flipped over side. Put the towel down behind you. Step onto the little piece that's not under. And pull it out from under. And then you're done. There you Stepped go. over. Now, for those of you who really like a little bit more competition and you want to challenge yourself, good job girls. If you want to challenge yourself, what you could do is you could see how many times you could do that in one minute. Or how right? many different ways you can learn how to do it. Or how many different ways you can learn how to fold it. So see what you can do. See if you, once you, once you practice it and get comfortable, then time yourself for one minute and see how many times you can flip the towel over. So, great job girls, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the time on our beach, on our deserted island, very good. All right, thanks girls. All right, Jasmine, would you like to come up? We're gonna sing one more song tonight. It's almost time for us to go home, even though most of you already are still at home. It's almost time for the end of our first night of, of Vacation Bible School. So we're gonna sing a song called No, Not One. Hey, okay, we're gonna go. No, not one. That, those are the motions we do most of the time. All right, here we go, Jazz. We spread out. That's good. And this is another one where we're going to do a lot of dancing too between the, between this, the words. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No. As, as we just get ready to close for the evening, let's pray together tonight, okay? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads together. Dear God, thank you so much for this evening. Thank you most of all that you have rescued us. And we know we cannot rescue ourselves, but you have rescued us. I pray for each child who is participating tonight. I thank you so much for them, and I thank you for their families. And I pray that you will be with each one tonight. I pray that you will guide us and direct us and help us to have a good time tomorrow when we get together again. In your name, amen. It was great to be with you tonight at Vacation Bible School. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to look forward to seeing you all again here tomorrow night, but we won't be shipwrecked on an island anymore. We will be with a new theme tomorrow night. So between now and then, see if you can think about and maybe guess what we might do next time. All right, see you then. <laughs>